Okay, so welcome back to this course. So now in this video, I want to first of all create my reducer and the action for the registration of the user, right? So simply go to my constants. Uh, before I go to reducers, per, uh, user reducers. So now I simply go to my user constants. So first of all, the registration. So that is. register user request and then login uh, that is also uh, user let's duplicate this one so that uh, that is registered what is happening So now, ah, so that is fail. So now, uh, register users request register users uh, fail. So I simply copy the first one, bring that in here. So first of all, I simply put in here the case, which is the same. So case register user request. All right. So whenever we send the uh, register user request, the loading is false, and if authenticated, definitely is false. And same for the success. So case register user success so we set the loading to false the user to action dot payload and is authenticated to true all right and then for same is for the this case so case register user fail so let's save it we are done with our reducer now let's go to the actions and then the user actions and let's bring in these three constants and let's define our register user so export or I simply copy this one so copy is here register and instead of this I pass in here an object of user data all right so dispatch the registration you register user success or register user request and then in config the content type is going to be uh, not JSON. We have a passing in here the multi part slash form dash data. Okay, because we also have to pass in the avatar or the picture now. So axios dot post API slash v1 slash register. And we will pass in the user data and then the config and then the register user success and here the register user fail all right so now we are done with our reducer and the action and now in the next video before creating our registration component i will create the i will install the cloudberry on my backend and i will configure my cloudberry on my backend so that we can use it on the front end also okay so next video is going to be part of the backend all right so i will see you in the next video